Sets up a power play as Holka took a slash in front. Jody Edworthy, our power play contestant for Save on Foods. Paltridge puck gets the puck off the draw. Moves for Sexton, left circle. He'll flip down low. Pickering back to Sexton at the left point. Sexton, high slot, moving in, firing. Save Siemens, rebound. Loose at the side of the net, centered. Polka fan on a shot. It was loose in front. Holka had his stick break on him as he was alone and Siemens way out of it. Sexton still with the puck. Plays for Holka. Back on the ice with a new stick to the forehand. Centering shot. They score. Pickering. Well, you won't see any prettier a goal than that one. What a great pass to Pickering, who was all alone at the side of that. Just had to put it in the empty net. But a good three-way passing play. I think Milan started the play, didn't he? Out of the corner, he found Holka onto the ice with a fresh stick. He cuts to his right into the slot, and when everyone in the building takes hits the brakes, the Vs have set up the three, the four on three advantage. Bennett, left circle, all the way to Dolan at the point. Cross ice to Lalesia, back to Dolan, one time shot blocked, Bennett the rebound. They'll play it back to Dolan. 26 seconds left on the four on three. Lalesia to Bennett, scores! Whoa, did he rip that one on a one time pass from Lalesia? Well, that was pretty, wasn't it? Three-way passing play and in the net. Malaysia with a great pass. And the B's second power play goal of the night. And the Mills without their head coach behind the bench. Glenn Watson, he was ejected at the 20-minute mark after arguing about the penalty Skylar Smutek was awarded at the 20-minute mark. I tell you what, though, they're trying to get away with stuff after the whistle. If you don't engage, you're not going to get called. And they've been punished here early. Two power play goals in the first 21 minutes of the game. It's 2 nothing Vs. Who's going to get the uh, second assist on seconds on the advantage? Breaking his stick on the draw, St. Marie. Big trouble for the Mills here. Dolan to Paltridge in the slot. Plays to Sexton off the goal line. Zipped it through the slot, and St. Marie, who broke his stick, couldn't get it out. Holka fires, scores! capitalize on the power play and the third power play of the goal of the night for the V's gives them a 3-0 lead. Nice shot by Holka. Halcrow yep. has played well too. We were giving Siemens all the credit early on. This is Halcrow in it tonight. The scout sheet that the millionaires provided us said Siemens was in the cage tonight but they've switched gears and gone to Halcrow instead. Fooled us here. And cleared to the line. Halker is still down and out as the V's maintain possession. A minute six left on the man advantage. Paltridge is at the left point, plays right side for Isaac McLeod. Back to Paltridge. Traffic in front. He creeps in, fires, scores! Another power play goal, the fourth of the night for the Penticton V's. All the result results of bad penalties by the millionaires nice shot by Baltridge waited till he got the screen he wanted and he's popped number 11 in the season into the net four nothing V's now as Paltridge crept down to the top of the right circle before letting one go it looked like it changed directions and went in through the five hole on Hall Crow offside called on the V's here and that'll be the end of a great shift for the Mills fanning in the slot was Galbraith. Now Milan, partial break, around a defender, he's tripped up as he tried to dance around him and nearly got back to that puck as he spun around in the air. And now hammered away from the puck is Milan. And we're gonna have a fight, Holka's gonna go with Watson. Watson landing some rights early. Holka patient though, now he lands a right. Uppercuts from Holka. Watson hanging in there, switches. Holka's helmet off. Another right from Holka, down to the ice goes Watson. And Joey Holka standing up for his line mate there after Milan was blindsided away from the puck. Yeah, it's a good thing Holka did there, jumping in after Milan took a dirty check away from the play. I don't know how the official ever saw that one, but it, at any rate, Joey Holka jumped in and did it and uh, equalized things a little bit. 4 0 the score with 5.50 left in the third. Third period action is brought to you by Cannery Brewing. Their MVB, that's most valuable beer. This month it's an Aramata Nut Brown named a best beer for the third time at the Okanagan Festival last year. 
Cannery Brewing is an aromatic nut brown. Don't be afraid of the dark. Still sorting out the penalties after that fight between Holka and Watson. Here's the call. Not yet announcing those penalties. We've sorted out the gloves and sticks at center. The referee chatting with the assistant coach of the Mills right now. Five minutes, 50 seconds left to go in this one as the V's have a... Danier. Back to Hertz who covers that left point. Right side. Holst to the left side. Tipped wide to Danier. Good work from Paltridge to break that up. And now Hertz controls at the left point. Final 30 seconds. One time shot, they score. That's Holst. And the Mills are on the board. Another late power play goal to break a Sean Bonner shutout. And that's too bad. We've seen a few of those this season. And game's already over. Yeah, just a minute and 33 seconds left in the hockey game. And the Mills score on a power play. In 10 seconds time. Demeray deep in his own zone after the puck. Up the middle, he's stripped by Johnston. Three seconds left. He'll wind and fire that hit his own teammate for Hayden. And it's that kind of night for the Mills as they lose four to one. The V's chalking up their 42nd W of the season. Well, I'll tell you what, Sean Bonner should have had the shutout tonight. Not his fault that he didn't have a power play goal late in the hockey game, but it just shows you that if the Mills had played any kind of smart hockey tonight, uh, they could have been right in this hockey game, especially with the V's being down uh, three pretty key guys in the lineup. But uh, they were undisciplined. It cost them as the V's scored four power play goals on the night. 4-1 is your final. The Bob Brown GM postgame show coming up next from the Valley First Vault. We'll be back in three minutes and change. Another victory for the V's. We'll talk about it in a moment. 4-1 the final. This is V's Hockey on Easy Rock. <laughs> 